In this video, we are going to discuss NextLabs' smart classifier. The NextLabs smart classifier is a bulk classification tool that enables users to classify in shared folders and SharePoint sites based on the file's content or metadata. Implementing strong data governance framework is critical to keeping your data safe and productive. Smart Classifier helps improve data quality and streamline data management process, which is essential to implement an effective data governance strategy. Smart Classifier uses a web-based user interface that provides a centralized configuration and management of Smart Classifier components, which you can see here. Smart Classifier is composed of three main components, file watchers, content extractors, and rule engines. The file watcher component scans files and folders in one or more file shares and then submits the list of files to the content extractor. Smart Classifier can have multiple file watchers deployed on several machines. Each can be configured to scan different segments of a repository. The content extractor parses the file, its content, and metadata and saves this information in the index. The content extractor is capable of parsing the contents of a file, but may take longer for larger files. If you are planning to use this feature of Smart Classifier, it is highly recommended that you set the appropriate file size limits. Last but not least, the Rule Engine. The Rule Engine schedules and executes the different rules defined in the Rules tab. These rules will be applied towards the matching records found in the index. You can preview the contents of the index using the index query or by going straight to the Solar Admin console. Let me show you the index from within the Admin console. Now that we have an idea of how Smart Classifier works, let's see it in action. I've prepared a simple demo environment where I will show you some of the most common use cases that we have for Smart Classifier. In this environment, I have a file share where users upload documents that they are using to collaborate with other users. I have also installed Windows Desktop Enforcer. Windows Desktop Enforcer is a NextLabs enforcer that allows us to enforce attribute-based access control policies for Microsoft Office and PDF documents. Now, Windows Desktop Enforcer is not the main topic of this video, but I just wanted to show you an example of an end-to-end -end solution so you can see what happens to the documents after we classify them. Inside my main data store, I have project folders, and inside these folders, I have a few documents. You will notice that the files contain either ITAR or EAR in their file names. I've named them as such to illustrate what classifications will be assigned to these documents. You can manually classify a file using the application. For Microsoft Office, you can add attributes by going to the File Properties, Advanced Properties, then Custom tab. Here you can add as much custom metadata to the file as you would like. In our case, I'm adding an attribute is ITAR with a value of yes for documents that should be classified as ITAR. Now without getting too much into the details of how we create policies, I've written a policy in Control Center which prevents users from accessing ITAR documents if they do not have the necessary licenses. Now as user Jimmy Carter, who is not licensed to view ITAR documents, he will attempt to view the file. Let's see what will happen when he tries to open the ITAR document that we just classified. You will see that Jimmy Carter was denied from accessing the ITAR document and a pop-up message is shown in the lower right portion of the screen saying that the access was denied as the user does not have permissions to open ITAR documents. Classifying new documents are relatively straightforward. Users can manually classify them as they generate the files. But what about the files that already exist? It will take a great deal of resources to manually classify every single file. This is where Smart Classifier comes in. Smart Classifier allows us to create rules that would classify the documents based on a given set of criteria. 
I've pre-configured the Smart Classifier to watch over the files that we have in this file share. The File Watcher monitors the files in the target file share, and the extractor parses each one of the files and writes the parse data into our index. Now we can take a look at the indexer to see what available data we have collected and determine which ones we could use to define our classification rules. Here you will see one entry for the PowerPoint presentation that we have in the project tree folder. Now, based on this information, a way in which I could go about classifying the documents in this environment is by using the ITAR keyword in either the body or the content of the file itself. In order to understand where we got this information, I'm going to open one of my ITAR documents. Now bear in mind, this document has not been classified yet, so we will be able to open it. Now, if you take a look at the definition of the file or the content of the file, I've added some words saying the presentation is classified as ITAR for demo purposes and so on. All these texts are available in the different file formats that we have, PowerPoint, Word, and Excel. I can use this information because when the content extractor parses the data or the documents, it saves the information in the indexer. Knowing this, I can now start creating my rules. I go into the Smart Classifier console, then to the Rules tab where I've already pre-created a rule here that allows us to classify ITAR documents based on the file content. So as you can see here, I've set the criteria as follows. I've specified a name for this particular rule. And then I have specified that this rule will apply to documents where the body of a document contains the word ITAR. Now I can be more specific, but for the purpose of this demo, a generic ITAR keyword should be enough. I have also specified that this rule will only apply to the following file share for this demo. And I've specified the actions to perform on these documents that will match the given criteria. The action to perform is to classify these documents and add an is ITAR classification with the value of yes to the documents that will match the criteria that we have just provided. I can also set a schedule for this so that it will automatically run in the set timing, but for the purpose of this demo, I will just go ahead and do this manually. Before I do that, allow me to close the documents first because if the documents are open while the rules are running, we will not be able to modify the documents since they are in use. So with the documents closed, I should be able to execute this rule. The time you will have to wait before the rule starts depends on the rule engine configuration. The on-demand settings that you will see here corresponds with the ad hoc rule set. In our case, the on-demand execution frequency is set to 5 seconds. So 5 seconds have passed. By now, our rules have been executed, and since we're only dealing with a few files, the execution should have been finished by now. Let's take a look at the file share again and see what happens when users with different permissions try to open the files. First is John Tyler. We will access the file share. John Tyler is authorized to view ITAR files since he has the necessary attributes required by the policy. Because of this, he will be able to access both the manual and automatically protected ITAR files. Let's go ahead and check this out for ourselves. John Tyler will first try to open the Word document, which was manually classified earlier. As you can see, the file opens and we are able to view the document as granted by the rule. Now let's try to view the PowerPoint and Excel sheet, which we automatically classified using Smart Classifier. John Tyler is able to open the PowerPoint and view the contents of the file. He's also able to view the contents of the Excel file. In contrast, user Jimmy Carter will access the file share. Jimmy Carter is not authorized to view ITAR files, so when he tries to access the files, he will be denied. Let's check this on the protected demo files. First, we will attempt to open the manually classified Word document. You can see the rule works because Jimmy Carter is denied access to the contents of the file. Next, he will attempt to open the automatically classified files, beginning with the PowerPoint. When he tries to open the PowerPoint document, the same message, access denied, user does not have permission to open ITAR files, is shown. 
and when he attempts to access the Excel sheet, he is met with the same message. This concludes the first use case where we use Smart Classifier to automatically classify documents we have within our environment. For the second use case, I will show you data segregation. In this use case, we will demonstrate using Smart Classifier to automatically copy or move classified information from various different subfolders in the data source into corresponding folders of the system of record folder based on the classification applied to the document. In this case, the documents that we just classified as ITAR should be moved into the ITAR subfolder. In order to do this, I have to create a rule. The first rule I'm making is a rule that allows us to move ITAR documents from the ITAR subfolder on the System of Record folder. I will also have to create a similar rule that will be applied to the other classification of the documents. The way in which the rule is defined is practically the same apart from the variables and values that we will be using for the criteria. The criteria for the ITAR documents is based on the attribute is ITAR. We are going to refer to the isITAR attribute, and if the value is yes, then the document is an ITAR document, and therefore the rule should apply. I'm also limiting the scope of this rule to the data source subfolder in our demo system. So what happens when the file matches the following criteria? Smart Classifier will move that particular file from wherever it is located to the ITAR subfolder on the system of record folder in our demo system. I could also set a schedule for this rule to trigger at the scheduled time, but again, since we're just doing this in our demo environment, we're going to manually execute this. Now, just before executing this rule, it's good practice to preview this first so that you have a good idea if you're setting the criteria properly. This preview tells you how many files will be affected by the selected rule. Once you're happy with the preview, you can go ahead and manually execute this rule. Again, the time it takes for you to execute this rule depends on your rule set and how many files will be affected. But since we are dealing with a relatively small number of files, our rule should be completed by now. Now, let's check the result. Let's go to the ITAR folder on the System of Record folder. You can see that all the ITAR documents that I have from different subfolders have been moved, so they are no longer in the original folder. Only EAR documents are left. All the ITAR files have been moved to the System of Record folder. And there you go. That's how fast and easy it is to use Smart Classifier to organize and segregate a high volume of files. Throughout this demo, we've been playing around with Office documents, but this is not all that Smart Classifier is capable of. This table summarizes the different file types that Smart Classifier can be used on. Just note that there are different levels of integration available to each file type, depending on the native capabilities of said file types. For text documents, they do not have metadata where we can write classifications into, so we won't be able to classify them. But for more complex data like Microsoft Office or Adobe PDF, we can do more with these files. We have also shown the classify and move actions, but there are other actions available out of the box for Smart Classifier. Additionally, custom Smart Classifier plugins can be created to support customer-specific requirements. For more information about Smart Classifier and what we can do to help your organization prepare your data for attribute-based access control, please do not hesitate to get in touch with us or our engagement managers. Thank you.